This year's definitely been a little bit different for us. All right, so how's my 2021 been? We've been really slow on the whitetail so far. Dude goes, bows up, whoa, jumps up. I said, that's freaking twin towers. I've got my buck killed, but it's just been a really slow year. What did we say went well today? Nothing. He's hammered. This year's definitely been a little bit different for us. Uh, not just myself, but us as a group. We've been really slow on the whitetail so far. Tombo's been all over the place, hadn't been real successful yet. What's up? I haven't been able to get out. Rochi's hunted a few times and had a close call or two, but it's just been a really slow year. All right, so how's my 2021 been? So far, it's been a big sandwich. <laughs> it's been a good year. I don't care what anyone says. I had a daughter. My words of Phil. Happy, happy, happy. DJ and Grant and I started talking about this two-week window from about the 25th of October till you know the 7th or 8th of November. We picked out certain days because we saw in the forecast we were going to be getting some rain come through there was going to be a good cold front on the back end of it i told uh told sherry that i'd be you know hitting the road here at the end of the week and give me six solid days and we'll get it done well i'm not the only one that's going to be hunting this week grant's on his way up I've got my buck killed. Now I got a chance to scout and help him out. It feels like the first time I've legitimately sat in like a premium, premium spot at a premium time of year, at a premium ranch. The chance to shoot a premium, premium deer. I think he got up here two days before I did and killed a deer. Great buck, super buck. Oh, big, just, man, the thing was like 280 pounds. What a behemoth. And so now, I'm out here trying to do the same thing. DJ's been running all these cameras. There's new bugs showing up everywhere. We've got a buck named Twin Towers. Shoot him if we see him. I'd really rather Rochi see him. But if he comes and stands right here, he can get shot. Or any other quasi mature deer that wanders in front of us.
man. morning I was getting my stuff packed up in the rust. I forgot my antlers. My rattling antlers. Saw a couple in Roach's garage. One of them's a small little pair of rattling antlers and they looked like they'd fit in my bag pretty well. Then I realized those are probably Jordans and so I found the old nice custom made E3 leather grip rattling antlers. Brought you that mind that I bought them. So we're gonna we're gonna burn them down a little bit over here. See what kind of action we get.
Stay down, you dog. Stay down, you dog. Stay down, you dog. He is freaking dead. I am so excited. I can't even stand it. I think that's freaking lucky. I think that is the deer that I missed twice yesterday. I think that's lucky. He is so lucky. Oh my. Dude, I am. I, I am so excited about that. That was amazing. That was amazing. I mean, that. You go from yesterday I was giving tips on my shot process and how I go through it. And I, I goofed it up so bad. Goofed it up. And right as I'm goofing it up, now now's when I'm gonna get the shakes. I goofed it up so bad. And in that moment, we see a deer that's the biggest deer we've probably got, one of the biggest deer we've got on camera. 10, 12 steps. I was full draw. Couldn't get a shot. Didn't want to take a marginal shot. Probably the most um, exhilarating 20 or 30 minutes of deer hunting I've ever had it was yesterday evening. This morning we got out here. I, I love the spot and the timber just off here. This is one of my favorite spots and I keep going back to it. We, we got in here and uh, I think we probably pushed a few deer on our way in in the dark. We saw one doe right over here behind us. One doe. I said, man, let's go ahead and give it a rattle. So I was rattling my butt off and I mean the first rattle out of the bag. He comes straight downwind. He come right into our wind, running, didn't care, stood right behind that tree, and I'm like, oh snap. I had the rattling antlers. I shot him with antlers between my legs. Oh, did you? Yes. Because I was right here, and I was just set my, I put them between my legs, and I didn't have any place to go with them. And he came right up here, and I was like, oh boy. I could not be more excited. I feel an excitement that is just this side of the birth of my children. And we saw him go down hard over there. He's laying over there. It's probably been, been 30 minutes now. So we're gonna go put our hands on him. Dude, I think that's lucky. It did not work, Lucky. It did not work. Wow. Wow. This is the deer that I missed twice yesterday. I missed this deer twice. Once at 30 something yards. Once at about 45 yards I don't really think he knew fully what was going on and then this morning we rattled his big butt in he came straight down wind of us grunting I mean yesterday when we saw him he was grunting and snort wheezing and you know what his car just got pulled today he's a big deer he's a big deer Boom. All the characteristics, all the telltale markers it's from the trail cams. We were going it's back like, oh, Blady 2, like, what yeah. is this? Like, is, is it a G5? Is that a, oh, it's nuts. That's awesome, dude. Bow hunting can be very frustrating, but boy, it can be quite incredibly rewarding. rewarding.